There's no question that mobile app use is exploding. As a result, more and more advertisers are looking at spending more where people are spending more time. But there are those who are striking a note of caution. Today in the mobile app world, uh, our biggest issue is just the quality of inventory. Uh, that we are seeing and uh, we have to stay on our toes because the ad verification softwares are not there yet like they are on uh, normal web-based traffic. One of the issues that we see is click injection where applications are taking credit for installs that they didn't really have any participation in, in the final uh, seconds of the user's engagement with that that led to the download. Another issue is app bundling spoofing. It's similar to how domain names were spoofed on desktop internet browsers a few years ago. Apps are aping other apps in order to generate advertising, and it doesn't end there. Another issue that we are seeing is around video specifically. Uh, two things that we have noticed is that if a first advertiser is trying to understand what rewarded video is all about, uh, yes, you might actually get the completion rates that you're expecting, but you really need to think about how that user is engaging with your video. What is that content behind it? And is that really what you want your you know, brand to be associated with? One area of growth has been rewarded video. By watching a video, it could release virtual currency for a game or additional content. But advertisers need to be mindful of how it's likely to be received. In the mobile app world, typically people see higher CTRs. We've heard the term fat fingers uh, on the d demand side, on the supply side, they would call it finger friendly type of inventory. You know, these are ads that are strategically placed in areas where accidental clicks would occur, you know, leading users to a site unintentionally and thus resulting in higher bounce rates and, you know, a user that is just not interested in your product. The area that we have seen uh, things to creep up that we've noticed is videos not actually being shown to the user, uh, it's actually being hidden. We actually looked at the number one app that we found in the exchange, we downloaded it, and we were looking through the statistics on the exchange and it said that this app was uh, having about 300 video ads per day to the user, which is pretty massive. We downloaded this application, it was a universal remote control, and you know, we started noticing some interesting behaviors, especially around the lock screen. Uh, when the user was not engaging with the app, it was actually uh, showing ads. And so we decided to look through these comments and a lot of users were complaining about how, you know, when they were not engaging with the app, this app was actually taking over their lock screen and showing video ads. While viewing and verification of online ads has come a long way on web pages, the app environment lacks the oversight that advertisers need to be demanding. So when it comes to video ad spend in a mobile app environment, you need to think about where the user is in the moment and how your video is being displayed to them. So for instance, you know, there's some gray area around rewarded video. You know, a user is incentivized to watch your video to get something in exchange, um, you know, versus maybe actually watching a video and before seeing that video, seeing the pre-roll video of your advertisement where, you know, they're more likely to be engaged with your video content versus just waiting there uh, to finish a video just to get something in exchange. So what needs to be done to make improvements and who needs to manage it? So today the, the mobile app industry doesn't really have the standards there to create high quality inventory that advertisers would want to be aligned to. Uh, we can see that you know the, the stores could get more involved and put measures in place uh, to help with the brands. You know, for instance, they could have frequencies involved, they could have actually controlled the placements of the ads. Uh, within the actual application, but we're not seeing it in this today. One of the things the mobile app world could be doing is the industry coming together to create a coalition for better ads that we've seen in the non-mobile app world, come together, put a framework in place, and then actually start penalizing mobile apps that do not uh, you know, abide by that framework. In addition to, uh, you know, it has been talked about, but you know, there is an open SDK project. Um, if this could come to fruition, this would help a lot ad verification softwares, this would allow them to, you know, give more insights to their customers on the back end, you know, how their ads are being displayed and the metrics behind it, similar to what we have on non-mobile app traffic. Hello, I'm James Wright. Thanks for watching Marketing Media Money. To check out more online videos, just click on the boxes and don't forget to subscribe to the CNBC Life channel at the bottom of the screen.